another world. Local reporters call them the visitors, but regional journalists know they are, in fact, followers of the Grand Eye of Colette, the Slammer. And once again, the Slammers have attacked and taken control of a new planet. As now has become standard practice, the Grand Eye of Tole stepped up to the giant ball of string and cajoled its followers. Blah, 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 blah. A phrase which, when translated, tells the faithful to grab your balls and hit the lanes because it's two for Tuesday and every third game is free. Unlike other invasions, which were done clandestinely in the most secretive way, this time the Slammers were infiltrated by Melvin Pimple, not his real name, director of the Pretend FBI, and Professor Dave Darkstone. Using information gleaned from the recent surveillance of the Slammer mothership, Melvin Pimple, not his real name, and Professor Darkstone were gathering new information on what made the Slammers tick like clocks in a world where time is suspended. With their true selves unmasked and visible, the aficionados of infiltrated Slammers are in for a real treat. Hailing originally from Mississippi with double double S's and double T, Melvin Piffle, not his real name, looked at Professor Darkstone and whispered, watch this and began gyrating in an unusually and disturbingly erotic way while singing the lyrics of a popular song on earth can your dog do the duck professor dave darkstone thought this was silly in the extreme but could not resist the temptation to join in himself my dog can do the duck just like you but can your dog do the duck like me can he do the flag like that guy over there? Like that guy over there? Yes. As it turned out, Melvin Pimple, not his real name, and Professor Dave Darkstone were not the only ones who had infiltrated the Slammer. Interstellar Dalton Hunters, Why Why Not, and Asmol Delay joined in and soon everyone was doing the duck. Quack, quack. While this was happening, the true Slammers had formed a cohesive group and were heading toward the capital city of the planet, being attacked while mumbling repetitively, blah, 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 blah. Interstellar Dalton Hunter has small delay, issued a few more quacks. Quack, quack! And then looked toward why, why not, and signaled in no uncertain terms to begin looking for a Zephyr bomb. Why, why not itself whacked a few times. And then pointed in an easterly direction, as if to say, look over there. Melvin Piffle, not his real name, signaled Professor Dave Darkstone to watch the interstellar Dalton Hunters as Maul Delay and Why, Why Not. We're off in the distance, hundreds of miles away. A big cloud rose into the air, and soon thereafter the ground shook, and an exploding Zephyr bomb was heard. Did this suggest the alliance between the Daltons and the Slammers had ended? Or had the Daltons 
just eliminated the only resistance to the invasion of the slammer. Soon thereafter, in the far distance, it appeared the Daltons were doing the duck. Quack, quack, while the slammers continued marching forward and mumbling, blah, 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 blah. Melvin Pimple, not his real name, was running out of apple slices to feed Bucky, the little mutant raccoon, and thereby maintain his presence in the vicinity of Professor Dave Darkstone. We interrupt this broadcast with a sua sponte, silly announcement that while it may appear this is a smorgasbord of gibberish, it's probably not. And now, having nothing better to do, we return to the broadcast where the infiltrators, Melvin Pipple, not his real name, Professor Dave Darkstone, the interstellar Dalton Hunters, why by not an asthmal delay, once again are doing the duck and quacking feverishly. Quack, 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 quack. As the slammers, with help from the Daltons, finish their conquest and infestation of another world. Wee Wee Poo Poo, head chef at the world-renowned One On Thai restaurant and originator of the world-famous Poo Poo Platter, was overheard telling a concerned customer, blah, 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 which was indisputable evidence the Slammers and Daltons successfully had invested, conquered, and controlled yet another planet in the quest to fulfill the Grand Eye of Tole's dream of changing the duration of the standard galactic week from eight days to nine days, thereby making it evenly divisible by three, which would be... Three, 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 three. Fabulous, marvelously marvelous, wonderfully wonderful science fiction theater of 